Pa ja kao majka kažem, moj zadatak je da se borim dok sam živa. Ja sam to prenela i na svoje čerke. Ostavila sam im u amanet, ako ja ne doživim, da se bore one dalje. A truth that Mirjana has been trying to uncover for decades. Since she gave birth to a little boy on a cold night in January 1978. A boy she never got to see. I ja sam vrlo rano svoju decu upoznala sa pričom o nestanku njihovog brata po rođenju. Takođe smo godinama obeležavali njegove rođendane u želji da će se možda jednog dana pojaviti. Decades later, Mirjana still hopes that one day her son will reappear. Like many Serbian mothers do. Da bi mi peti dan telefonom saopštili da mi je dete jedno umrlo. Ne spavam normalno, ne jedem normalno, ne živim normalno. Ja sam izgubila 25 kilograma osoba. Serbia didn't exist as a country when these women lost their children. It was part of former Yugoslavia. Back then, in the communist state, questions were seldom asked and answers rarely given. Najmanja je mogućnost da su sve nestale bebe mrte bebe. Kriminalna grupa i su više jaka da je to možda i međunarodni lanac. This is the story of the mothers who are convinced their newborns were stolen. Ako je umrlo, gde je? Ako je živo, gde je? We found out they may have been right all along. There is enough of reason to investigate if there was, and maybe even still is, an international chain of trafficking of babies. In the early morning hours, on the 28th morning, in the shock of my head, my doctor was my doctor from the home of the health, who told me that my child was born. Why? I asked myself why. I was asked for the night to see the child, to take it and to take it to the hospital. However, the doctor did not allow it, and he put me in front of the door. Hardly a compassionate attitude towards people who had just experienced such a tragedy. Stavili su me posle šok sobe na odeljenje gde su bile ostale porodilje i gde su decu donosili majkama, a vi sa svojom boli i patnjom trpite sve to. The lack of answers to her questions made it even harder. It raised doubts over the death of her son, but also hopes that one day she would find him. Ja sam posle izlaska iz bolnice mesecima odlazila po parkovima tragajući za svojim sinom u nadi da ću ga prepoznati. Drugog dana su ujutru došli i saopštili su mi da je moje dete umrlo. Pitala sam kad moje dete mogu da sahranim, kako to protokol teče, šta da uradim. Rekli su mi da ne možem, da je to obriga sve bolnice, da će oni to sve da odrade. Dete mora da ide na obdukciju, dete će biti kremirano i oni će to da sahrane. Da je to sve zadatak bolnice. But the documents Radisava got from the hospital don't mention the autopsy results. Vidim sve da da ništa da ništa ne ništa ne odgovara. Recimo potvrda o smrti imaju samo njeni podaci. Kad je rođena i njeno njeno prezime i kad je rođena i njena ovaj njeno vreme rođenja, a drugo ništa ni gde ni da je bolovala, od čega je bolovala, to ništa nema tu popunjeno, to je sve prazno. Samo na kraju, na kraju tamo su napisali da je doktorka koja je potvrdila njenu smrt. Incomplete documents and alterations that make her feel cheated and ignored. 
Hundreds of parents all over the country think their babies have gone missing over the last 40 years. Mariana founded the Belgrade Parents Group. People meet here to share their pain and their experience. My goal during the formation of a group of parents who are looking for the truth of their children je bio prvo da dođemo do istine gde nam se nalaze deca, šta se dogodilo sa njima, a isto tako i da pomognemo svim roditeljima koji su bili u zabludi i koji nisu imali snage i znanja, jer svi mi nismo bili edukovani da bi znali šta je potrebno, da bi saznali šta je potrebno i kojim putem da krenemo da tragamo za svojim decom. Some may think that these parents are in denial and unable to come to terms with the death of a child. But everyone here believes their baby has been stolen and given away for illegal adoption in a pattern similar to the one uncovered in countries like Spain and Chile. Rada was told that one of her twins died 35 years ago. Her story is similar to many others. A baby declared dead a few hours or days after birth, but no body and major inconsistencies in the documents. Like Mr. Lazic, who was told by the health ministry that his son was cremated at the hospital, although the health ministry says there was no crematorium there. Today, Mirjana wants to take the fight further. I posle 18 godina nismo došli do naše dece. Ko je za to da štrajkujemo glađu ispred vlade Republike Srbije? Hvala vam. And sometimes their fight and their faith get rewarded. Her faith made Zaritza fearless. She led the battle without mercy. But when she tried to file a criminal case in Serbia, she was told that it was outdated the standard response given to parents in this situation. So she decided to take her case to a higher authority, the European Court of Human Rights. Te bila je poplava, te sve je poplavljeno, te nema papirologije. She later found out that wasn't true, but did manage to gather what she needed. Ja sam njima dostavila tužbu, pisat u srce majke, koja pati i tuguje za onim što je snašlo. I normalno je, i oni su ljudi, većina od njih sigurno imaju djecu. I stali su svojim krilima pokušali da me zaštite i da mi pomogu. A case that many years later, to her surprise, she won. In 2013, the European Court ruled that Serbia had failed to provide her with credible information as to the fate of her son. Therefore, the court said, it can't rule out that the baby was unlawfully removed from the family. The ruling also ordered Serbian authorities to provide Zaritza and all the parents in a similar situation with answers. A demand that, years later, is still being ignored. Da se kazne svi ti koji su bili umiješani u krađu mog djeteta. To neko mora da zna šta se radi u ovoj državi. Shvatite kad je u pitanju dijete za koje znate da ste rodili i da vam je neko drugi iz ruku oteo i uzeo, 
tu ne može da postoji prepreka. So for many mothers, Strasbourg has become the capital of hope. Radosova is following in Zaritsa's footsteps, seeking attention and help from the European Union. After losing their first baby, Radosova and her husband settled in Germany. To je bilo posle dve godine. Ostala sam trudna i otišla sam za god, na godišnje u Srbiju, međutim e, dobila sam bolove i morala sam bolnicu na porođaj. Bolnica je ista, lekari su isti, sve, sve me to još više, još me više to mučilo, kako ću, šta ću, mislim da me to mučilo više nego bolovi moji. Her husband did everything to save what they once lost there. Kad se beva rodila, moj muž je ovaj, došao i tu je on njih častio sa novcem, Čak i dukat je dao doktorki toj dečeo što mi je potpisala pre ovaj, što mi je pre potpisala smrt deteta koji nije umarlo i dan danas ja verujem da nije umarlo. To mi je bilo teško. Rudosova and her husband never forgave themselves for the disappearance of their first child. Belgrade. Once the capital of the former Yugoslavia. It's mostly during that era that missing baby cases were reported across the country. Parents believe answers lie within hospital walls in Belgrade, Niš, and other cities in Serbia. But so far, everyone, including doctors, has largely ignored their pleas. Kada sam krenula 2002. godine u bolnicu u Višegradsku da dođem do dokumenta svojih da bi dokazala upravo da je moje dete nestalo, da je nestalo iz bolnice. Naišla sam na zi čutanja. Naišla sam na ljude koji nisu želeli prvo da sarađuju sa, sa mnom. And they have also declined to talk to us. We also contacted doctors allegedly involved. All of them declined answering our questions. Decades later, Mirjana still hasn't found her son, but never gave up the search. One man in Serbia supports these parents' quest for truth. Sasha Jankovic was commissioned by the parliament to look into their claims. There are cases in Serbia which, after a preliminary investigation, show a very clear need that they must be investigated deeply, thoroughly, and with full responsibility of the state. Basically, I confirmed the doubts reasonable doubt of some parents that their, their children might be missing. The ombudsman thinks some inconsistencies can be explained. The deadline for declaring a child was born is seven days. And the deadline for declaring a death is 24 hours. So this can justify or explain the fact that a child was uh, registered as, as a newborn after it has already been registered as, as deceased. But as a lawyer, he says, some cases are highly suspicious. Ten families come report us that their child is missing, and in eight of these cases, the same doctor has signed a death certificate. The very same doctor. This gives a legitimate reason to, to, to be in a doubt. The lack of proper answers fuel not only parents' doubts, but his own too. 
After all this investigation, I have to say that I'm afraid that some of the abductions actually took place. It took us weeks to confirm this suspicion. Despite fears and threats, this nurse thinks it's her duty to speak. Yes, I'm pristala na razgovor s vama. Probudila mi se želja. I možda i neka griža savjesti ako sam to nekad znala, nisam pridavala važnosti tim pričama. Da im pomognem bar pričom. Da je to istina. She helped to deliver thousands of babies at Belgrade's main maternity hospital, where many unexplained deaths have been reported. Iznenađenje je bilo baš kako to umrla beba, tako dobre težine, dobra beba, kvalitetna beba. Su bile mlade žene, Beograd je i okolina bili veliki. Obično su bebe nestajale kad su već majke počele da doje. She also noticed that unauthorized people were hanging around the nursery. A ljudi koji nisu trebali da budu u dečijem boksu, po pravilima kuće, obično su se tu sa lekarima nalazili ono po podnevnim satima kad ode gužva radnika, a ostano oni samo smenski. Ili subotom i nedeljom. To je bilo od ujutru do uveče, pa i nekim tako kasnim večernim satima, ne mislim u noćnim, dubokim noćnim satima, ali tu do 9-10 sati uveče šetali su se. Nakon posete tih nepoznatih ljudi koji nemaju veze sa klinikom, obično lekar ginekolog koji je vodio porođe i saopštio da je beba preminula. Nekada smo verovali, nekada nam je bilo čudno. One of these mysterious visitors lives in the German city of Landshut. Marco has been put under police protection since testifying here. When he and his wife decided to adopt a baby girl, he got in touch with a middleman who he thought could help them. Years after, he's still affected by what he went through. sa bebom ili stomakom i onda one daju bebe na usvajanje. I onda sam ga upitao kako će biti na rodnom listu te bebe. A on je meni odgovorio ovako da će pisati da je moja žena bebu rodila. Ali ako želim slagati da idemo nazad u Njemačku, pa nakon devet mjeseci da dođemo u Beograd i uzmemo bebu. Marko started to feel suspicious. I onda oblačim bijeli mantil i odlazim ja, doktor i sestra. I ulazimo u prostoriju gdje su bile rotkinje koje su rodile. I onda sam ugledao jednu mladu ženu, tada od prilike 20 godina, koja je sličila mojoj ženi i onda sam stavio ja ruku na krevet. To je bio znak. And what happens afterwards made him even more suspicious. Ja sam tada mislio da je to to. Međutim, 
on mene uvodi u baby box. Gdje su bile bebe? Mislim treća ili četvrta beba u baby boxu mi je zapela za oči jer sam ugledao njene duge crne trepavice. Stao sam je razgledati. Doktor reče, je li lijepa? Kao anđeo, ja se zaljubio. Ja sam tada po prvi puta i posljednji puta neki osjećaj dobio da sam ja otac. I kroz to razmišljanje doktor reče, biraj. Kad je on rekao biraj, ja sam se sledio ili skamenio. Ja sam se razbio kao čaša od betona. Onda sam ja shvatio da nešto neštima. Maritza managed to fulfill her dream of becoming a mother. A close relative who was working for the government helped her to adopt a child under unclear circumstances. Mlađan was brought to her home when he was three months old. And then they made a strange offer. Plus, I'm i ovoj oni rekli znaš šta, mogu da ga promenim, a ja sam jedva čekala da ga uzmem. On je slatak čovjek i god na ovako na dlan vodu da ne kapne. Jedva to smo ga svi čuvali. Pa to znaš šta, i moja familija i sve to, sve to zava moja, sve to but even if he is one of them, Mlađan felt the need to piece his history together. Kada sam kada sam rekli da sam usvojen, bio sam ljet, pošto me ona ostavila. Porodila su prošlicu i ostavila. So, he went to find out who his biological mother is. He thought he had found her, but reached a dead end when he realized that the name on his adoption papers was fake. Posle svega ovoga vrtim su glavi, zbunjen sam i čekam da saznam da vidimo koji su mi roditelji. Znači, baš bih želao da vidim koji su mi roditelji. Pošto su mi rekli da me ostavila, odnosno ja sam otet. Ja ne osjećam nikakvu krivicu što sam usvojila dete. Koji misli da dođe, da nađe, neka dođe. Kuća mu otvorena i da je vidi, da ono i tako. Pa šta ću drugo? Isto. I sve da... I ako ima i braću i sestre da se da se dođu da gosti i sve. While she is still longing for the truth, Rada tries to find peace at this Belgrade cemetery. Ja ovde dolazim vrlo često. Ovo je vrt sećanja na sve preminule kremirane bebe. Zato što želim da obiđem jednostavno, želim da obiđem to mesto. Kad god osjetim potrebu, unutrašnju potrebu u srcu, ja dođem ovdje. She was told that her son was laid to rest here. Pa znate, teško je to objasniti, to je nešto što ide iz mene, iz srca. Neka potreba da negde dam oduška svojim suzama, a to je ovo mesto. Prosto da isprazim dušu, eto, to je ovo mesto. Ali ja, grobno mesto mog deteta nema, zapravo ne postoji. Women deprived of a grave can only hope their child is alive somewhere. What we should do, what we are obliged to do, whatever the costs for the image of Serbia or whomever is, is to get down to the truth. This would show the real responsibility, whatever the cost might be. Your right 
to know the truth about your child is above anything. A call from a man who ran in the last presidential election and a call that the Serbian state hasn't heard so far. A ja, Majka Jovana i Zorica, do danas još ne znam gdje živi moj sin. To neznanje gdje je živi ubija me. U posvesti svakog dana sve više i više. Znam samo jedno, da bi ga majka zagrla i rekla Sine, ja te nisam rodila da bi te drugi odgajao. Moja najveća nada je da će jednog dana moj sin saznati ko je njemu prava majka i javiti se. U toj nadi živim i ta me nada održava. A hope that only her son can fulfill, but a truth that many others could help uncover.